Hello everybody, my name's Stephen Daintith. I'm joining Ocado today. What attracts me is the, is the opportunity and the growth potential for Ocado. I see a business that can become bigger and better, more global, um, serving many more customers around the world. And I think that's a great opportunity and a challenge in itself. There's a lot to do, uh, but it's the opportunity the challenge, and then finally the people that I've met as well. I think I'll bring energy. Um, I've always been known, I think, with the people that I've worked with in the past for being energetic. I'm passionate about um, driving a business forward and achieving success. I think you'll find somebody who is going to work across the business as well, and I think I'm going to do my best to help everybody and uh, and get this business even better than it is today. I think I'll be bringing a perspective. I think a fresh perspective is also a good thing as well. I've had a career in um, a variety of industries, both in consumer goods, I've been in tobacco and I've been in newspapers, but also in, in industry as well, in Rolls Royce. So I have a global experience, a variety of industries, and I think that fresh perspective as well will, uh, will help Ricardo, um, you know, in, in my new role as a CFO here. Most of all, uh, what, what struck me is the ambition, the determination, the passion for the business and everyone working together, which is a really good thing. What am I hoping to achieve in the first six months? I think get to know the business better. I think I'll be learning a lot. I'll be listening a lot. Um, I think it's probably naive to think that you can do an awful lot and say, I'm going to change A, B and C in the first six months. It'll be about sort of learning, digesting, and then starting to develop some ideas about how I, working with my team, can help make this business even better. It's all about people. I mean, I think this has been a really tough year for everybody. I haven't met anybody who's uh, enjoyed this experience of the last sort of 12 months or so during COVID. I think going forward, it's going to be interesting when we come out of COVID and what the reaction is to, by, by customers and consumers. And uh, I think, you know, we might have to be uh, prepared for, um, for, for trends that we hadn't quite anticipated in a post-COVID world, because we, we haven't had that post-COVID world uh, ever yet, so we don't know what the world looks like, so there's a bit of uncertainty around that as well. What I think COVID has demonstrated is the real opportunity for the, for the online service um, to, to really grow and prosper as it has done. And I think it's sort of seizing that opportunity and, and really delivering on it on, on a global basis and, and, and that for me is sort of going back to one of my earlier comments, a critical thing for us, the successful execution and rollout of the global um, Ocado Solutions platform. A footballer, drama class, uh, at the desk. Ah, <laughs> oh, crikey, football, master chef, full English, coffee, Rolling Stones, the beach, a town like Alice.